Looking for the best CPU cooler for the Ryzen 7 5800 XT? The release of the AMD Ryzen 7 5800 XT last year took everyone by surprise. While most of the specs are the same with the 5800X, the 5800 XT offers a 200MHz higher boost clock over its non-XT counterpart. This translates to slightly better performance, but the default TDP of 105 watts also means you'd need a capable cooling solution. In this video, I've handpicked the two best CPU coolers for the 5800 XT to help you choose which is best for you according to your budget, while prioritizing performance, value, and noise levels. Price information and all coolers mentioned in the video are available in the description. First, the best budget CPU cooler for the Ryzen 7 5800 XT is the ID Cooling SE224 XTS. Over the years, ID cooling has certainly made its mark in the air cooler market, especially with its SE224 XT series, which proved to be one of the best entry-level air coolers out there. The SE224 XT Basic had already impressed us with performance far beyond what you'd expect at its price point, but its silent successor, the SE224 XTS, is even a step further. Despite being released in 2022, this CPU cooler is still a great choice for the Ryzen 7 5800 XT thanks to its 220 watt TDP rating, a solid boost from the 180 watts on the SE224 XT. You also get support for all the latest CPU sockets, including Intel's LGA 1700, LGA 1200, and the full LGA 115X lineup, along with AMD's AM4 and AM5 sockets. Installation is fairly straightforward, though it could have been better for AMD users if it used threaded standoffs to secure the backplate. Still, it's not a major deal breaker. Talking about its hardware, the SE224 XTS features a compact single tower design with four 6mm copper heat pipes that offer 30% more contact intensity, along with a dense aluminum fin stack that efficiently handles heat dissipation. It also comes in about 200 grams lighter compared to the XT. The fan is still a 120mm TF Pro, though its maximum speed has been reduced to 1500 RPM to help keep noise levels in check. Performance-wise, it's safe to say that the SE224 XTS is more than adequate for entry to mid-range CPUs like the 5800 XT. It's not chart-topping, but it offers enough to not only surpass its predecessor, but also match the level of coolers like the Hyper 212 and Arctic models from both the past and present, all at a very cheap price. Another thing to appreciate is the wide compatibility thanks to the 151mm height, which is shorter than the previous generation. This makes the SE224 XTS series a great fit for those with limited space in their cases. You also don't have to worry about clearance issues, whether it's memory or graphics cards. And if you dislike ARGB lighting, you'll be quite happy with either the XTS Black or the Basic. That said, while there are a few other offerings around the $30 price mark, such as the Peerless Assassin from Thermalright, when you factor in the sleek styling, great performance, limited noise, and affordable pricing, it just makes sense to go with the XTS, since it covers so many of the everyday user's needs. To sum up, what I like is the excellent price to performance, it's compatible with a wide range of cases, and it supports all the latest CPU platforms. On the downside, there's no RGB or ARGB lighting, and mounting hardware for AMD could be better. Before we continue to my top pick, it would really help us continue making more videos if you support us by just hitting the like button and subscribe, or even with a comment so that I know if you like it or if there's something I can do to improve next time. I promise, it costs nothing, just a few seconds. Finally, my top pick for the best cooler for the Ryzen 7 5800 XT is the Noctua NHD15 Chromax Black. When it comes to air coolers, Noctua is as good as it gets. They've built a name for themselves by producing high-end air coolers with exceptional performance, and the NHD15 Chromax Black is no exception. It offers superb performance and even better acoustics. Although a bit on the expensive side, the performance makes it worth the expense. This isn't a new cooler. In fact, it's the full blacked out version of the award-winning NHD15, popular for its impeccable performance. The main issue with the original was the unorthodox color choice, which made it hard to match it with builds. 
The Chrome Max Black version solves this problem, making it the perfect choice for a Ryzen 7 5800 XT build. As for the design, this is a dual tower air cooler with two 140mm fans capable of operating at a maximum RPM of 1500. Because the fans are mounted on top of the CPU, they also provide airflow and cooling for other heat sinks and motherboard components. Suffice it to say, when it comes to performance, this cooler does not disappoint. One of the main issues that comes with using a cooler like NHD15 is memory clearance. The NHD15 is a beefy cooler, which does cause some serious clearance issues. While the fan clip does allow you to adjust the fan for more clearance, doing so might make it incompatible with certain cases. Apart from the clearance issues, the aesthetics might also be a source of discourse. While the simplistic and single-color design is appealing, it can be a deal-breaker for some people. Mainly the complete lack of RGB, especially at this price point. To combat this, Noctua does offer customizable heatsink covers and anti-vibration pads, but they cost extra, which is a big downside. However, where this cooler shines is the acoustics. Noctua NHD15 is nearly silent, even under heavy loads. On top of that, the low noise adapters can reduce the noise further by decreasing the fan RPM from 1500 to 1200. While that may cause a decrease in performance, it's nice to have the option to decrease noise even further. To top it all off, Noctua promises to offer mounting hardware for future upgrades, making this cooler a good long-term investment. On top of that, it comes with a six-year warranty, making it quite future-proof. It's worth mentioning this cooler is a bit expensive. There are cheaper options on the market, like the Deepcool AK620 and the Thermalrite Phantom Spirit. Both options are excellent, but the NHD15 has proven to be the most reliable air cooler out there. Spending a bit more money for that peace of mind is a good idea. To sum it up, Noctua NHD15 is a solid air cooler if performance and reliability are your priority. What it lacks in aesthetics, it makes up for it in acoustics. Even with the slightly expensive price tag, its performance is worth every penny, and it's perfect for the Ryzen 7 5800 XT. To sum up, what I like is the excellent performance, the best in-class reliability, the easy installation process, and the incredible acoustics. On the downside, limited memory clearance, and it's expensive for an air cooler. Thanks for staying till the end. Remember, you can check current prices in the description below.